Welcome back to Hanna Instruments. Today we're going to be doing the calibration for the HI-208 pH meter. Um, it's a beater meter with a built-in stirrer. Uh, automatic temperature compensation can be run with either batteries or 110 power. I currently have it plugged into the wall. Okay, I have my probe hooked up. Um, the cap off of the probe has been removed. First thing we're going to do is turn our meter on. Let it go through the startup phase. Okay, now we're going to remove our cap. Put a clean beaker with pH buffer 7.01 and a stir bar on the machine. Rinse our cap or rinse our probe real quick. Replace the cap. Okay, now we're ready to put the machine into calibration mode. You'll simply hold down the on-off button until the word cal is on the screen and then let go. There we go. Okay, we're in pH buffer 7 right now, so we'll turn on the stir. And the machine will let us know when we're calibrated at 7.01 and ready to go to 4.0. I have my 4.0 buffer right here ready to go. Otherwise, you could empty out your beaker and then refill it with 4.0. Okay, so we've finished. Now it says use 4.01, so we'll turn the stirrer off. Remove the probe. Add our 4.01 buffer. Give the probe a rinse. And replace it. Turn the stirrer back on. And when the machine's done calibrating, it will go back to its normal stage. Okay, so we have two-point calibration and we're back to our standard stage. Now remember it is temperature compensated, so if it doesn't read the pH buffer 0.401 at 4.01, it's okay. It's just being compensated by the temperature. We'll turn our stirrer off. And that's it. Now, if you wanted to test a solution at this point, we would remove our buffer and either clean or use a clean beaker. Here I have one. Stir bars in place. I'll again rinse my probe. Replace it. And simply turn the stir on. Now I'm using deionized water to rinse my probe, so there should be minimal, if any, interference. Okay, and that's it. Wait for your reading to stabilize. And that's how to use the HI208 pH meter for calibration and use.